Welcome to the fine locale of too much room. Population. A whole bunch of people that we're going to shoot right now. Yeah, this game really has the best name for locals. <laughs> Welcome to the city of Burn and Amaze. And make sure to check our neighborhood city. Too much room. Okay, I know there are level names and all of this, but... Okay, that was still pretty weird. So, yeah, this is episode 1, area 4, too much room, and... Well, I don't know, I'm honestly not a huge fan of this level. Just mainly because there's no real feature to set it apart from other levels and all of this. Instead of... I don't know. All that this level does in particular is to introduce this giant rows of power-ups so that you're forced to take up the bad mushroom mode or elasto mode. So, yeah. Essentially, this level is just a giant killing zone. And, well, at least it's decent enough to fight in. So, at least, yeah. It's not a bad level. I'm just saying that it's kind of meh. There's just nothing as nice as, say, the touch plate maze from in the last level and all of this. Yeah. Those were particular features to make the level feel apart, but this is in essentially just your typical Rise of the Triad level right here. Or maybe not typical, because most of the levels are have at least some kind of uh, fun things going on for them, but essentially when I go into this level, my main concern is to get it over with as soon as possible. Oh god, we're trapped into a... Uh, okay, never mind. Yeah, this is why you have a knife. <laughs> You can even pick up a huge stockpile of knives and just hold them around, even though th it's, there's really no point in doing so, because you don't lose your knife unless you die and restart the level with a pistol start or something, but I don't know, most people that play the game don't play the game like that. And this is the first time in the game you'd get a key if you don't go into the secret level, even though the, those explosions ravage everyone, the key still remain. Oh god, yeah, this level also has a whole bunch of true modes too, so... So, I figured it would be a good time as many to talk about, well, the reason why I decided to help the game using uh, the DOS version instead of uh, using WinHot, because, well, the Windows part of Rise of the Triad, yeah, it's true that it has clearer graphics, but already, whenever you pick up Shroom Mode, you can already see one of the things that differ from uh, two of the versions. And it is basically the sound system, because, well, the Windows part of it doesn't even support sound echoing and all of the things like that, so essentially the sound is just really, really flat all, all the way through. And that's already one thing, but there are other things, but I'm mainly gonna talk about those differences between uh, the different versions of, of the game whenever we'll come across those differences, because at this part of the game you probably wouldn't notice uh, the things that made it, so that I decided to use this instead. But hey, if there was a redeeming factor about this level, I think this is a f good level in which you'd be able to get the... Uh, Whoa, that was pretty close right here, but yeah, that would be a pretty good level in order to get bonus bonus. If only because, well, it's a pretty short level, the secrets are easy to find, uh, because I think there's only about 10 secret walls in total. And... Oh wow, I finally got a gun mode out of a random power hub. Is this the part of this LP where my luck finally turns around? I hope. Because, yeah, just in case it wasn't enough, there's another god mode right here, so that already makes it so that I'll have at least two god modes through this level. And yeah, by the way, getting bonus bonus basically involves uh, getting all of the bonuses into the, the level, and some of them are pretty damn ridiculous. For instance, you have either to shoot yourself with your own missile weapons, must destroy all life objects, find all secrets, get all of the mushroom power downs into a level, stuff like that, so basically getting bonus bonus is really, really not fun. And that's why I said right off the bat that I probably wouldn't do it, but yeah, if you really want to do how fun it is to get bonus bonus, well, I'm pretty sure there's a video on YouTube somewhere where somebody will get bonus bonus on uh, one of the shareware levels. It's a laugh riot, what can I say? Yeah, I really don't get the point of this trap, the pillars that are going up. Oh god, I'm gonna get slightly hairsick. My one weakness. I have survived multiple bazooka shots in the face, but I'll never be able to stand five feet in the air. 
my poor heart cannot take it. Also, once again, this level has a whole bunch of guards that are lying down for absolutely no purpose whatsoever. At least in the other level it was funny, but in this one, I don't know. It just feels really tacked on and placed at parts where it doesn't even make any sense. But at least, like I already said already, this level at least is pretty short and, well, most of the secrets are pretty easy to find, if not kind of meaningless, so... Yeah, this is how you get all of those life items without any kind of interference whatsoever because there's a push wall that you can push in, in front of the fire chute. So yeah, pick your poison. How about picking boat? So obviously, you would have a hard time figuring out the kind of obstacles that you get on the other side. Exactly the same thing! Isn't that nice? Yeah, so basically the moral of this story is there are mushrooms everywhere, but at least it's not like this level is any d uh. <laughs> Okay, I've spoke too soon here. <laughs> because you know, this level is so simple that I might as well just create artificial difficulty, such as standing on a flamethrower for hours to come, just to show how good I am. But at least I'm gonna make things a little bit easier by just going there and pick up all of the power-ups that I've missed behind because, well, I still have a god mode waiting for me right ahead here. Like the good old saying goes, always bring the bazooka that has the most ammo out of there so that you can blow a whole lot more heads up. Uh, was that how the saying went? I'm honestly not sure. Yeah, obviously, god mode might be better, but... Obviously, it's not cuter, so this is why we're going for this little fellow right here. Because who can say no to dog mode? That's perhaps the greatest, single greatest thing about this game. Sure, there are many games in which you can play as a god and all of this, but can you play as a god dog? Uh, okay. <laughs> that was the most melodramatic thing that I've ever said into this video. <laughs> But hey, at least I gotta try and make up things, because honestly, I'm not a huge fan of this level. Although this room is pretty cool. The Revenge of Indiana Jones. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the lift. I appreciate. So yeah, that was a pretty dangerous secret where you basically have almost no chance of escaping without taking any damage. On all of this, for a few life items that serve no purpose. Considering that if I die, I'll generally just reload my save game in order to get all of my weaponry back, just because I'm too lazy to get it back. Okay, I gotta say at least that was a pretty funny room. What's the point of guarding a whole bunch of corpses by disguising yourself as a corpse? Wouldn't that be a little bit tough for the mental or mental well-being of the person? Okay, yeah. Alright, my third attempt at being fancy paid off, and now it's time to be fancied by shooting everything inside and missing everything because I cannot aim word for shit, but hey, at least I have full... Okay, I don't have full health anymore. Thank you, Mr. Lightning Guard. I appreciate you shooting me in the face with a bazooka. Since I'm near the end of the level and I'm pretty much dead, I might as well try it and go for this kin of your T power up. You get it by finishing the level with one dot of health, so I should begin the next level after that by having full health. <laughs> or maybe I don't, even though I've done everything that I needed to get this bonus. Okay, so <laughs> that's not very good. Okay, so I'm gonna start the next level with 9% of health. Okay, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> Although, yeah, at least I like the next level, so that should be a pretty interesting challenge. So, thank you, this level is finally over, so stay tuned for the upcoming update in which we're gonna play Episode 1, Area 5, Tuki Return.